Okay, so WordPress users control uh, who has access to your website and what they have access to. Okay, there's a number of different roles that people can play and I'll explain these roles in detail a little bit later. Um, but basically you click on users, you can add new, you can view your profile. Okay, so what, these are the things you should fill in. Yeah, you can change the colours if you like, but I don't see why you would need that. Um, you can also have enable keyboard shortcuts for comment moderation. I wouldn't bother doing that. Show toolbar when viewing the website. Um, that allows you to, to actually see the toolbar at the top when you're view, viewing the uh, website up here. Okay? Uh, only, only you'll be able to see that when you're logged in. That, way, that will disappear when you're logged out. But that basically is set your username, and then that's the name how it displays next to your posts and pages. Your email address, your website, a short biography. It really shouldn't be much longer than that. Uh, if, if anything, it can fill that box, but that would be about it. And then you control your password. Now, WordPress uh, really is stringent on how you do passwords because WordPress is a very popular platform. So very popular platforms attract hackers uh, to do usually stupid things that just ruin your website. So if you have a password like, um, for instance, if I had a password like Peter, Peter J. Ritchie or Peter Ritchie 64, that's a bad one, okay? That's gonna be very easy for them to, to, uh, to hack. So always make it a really tough password, okay? And when you add the password, the strength indicator will, will basically um, let you know how strong or how weak your password is, okay? Uh, you, you might see some extra features here. If you, if you set up the WordPress SEO, you'll get your, uh, the SEO by Yoast. You'll be able to um, uh, put in your, your Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus accounts, and, and in the future, maybe some other accounts as well. And you'll see here, because I've got the, uh, the e-commerce software, it actually allows you to put your uh, billing address and all that information in there as well. But you would usually just see down to about here, okay? And then you save, you update your profile there. But really make sure that your profile is up to date because it's really important that, that, that that's uh, displayed well, okay? Um, if you want your image uh, uh, associated with your email address, which means your image will be displayed alongside a little thumbnail image of you alongside your profile, you need to go to gravatar.com and register a, a photo alongside your email address. And then you'll see that on websites where you see comments uh, made by people and their photo appears. That's what they've done. They've registered their email address and, and associated a photo with that email address. So when they make a comment with that email address, that, that photo displays with it. So you can have a different photo with each email address. Make sure that it's the, the, the basic rating. Uh, after you upload an image, it'll ask you whether it's uh, G-rated. PG, um, R, or, you know, and, and a few other options. Okay, so that's basically the overview of a user, um, of the user profile. Um, when you add a new user, uh, I'll be talking about in the next uh, thing on how, how you can control the, the, the privileges of each user.